What's up guys, this is Ryan from Aquamaniacs. I'm gonna teach you guys my way on how to treat the itch parasite or how to get rid of white spot disease in just three to four days. So it can, the time can differ according to your infestation and the stress level in the fish. Now you will know why I'm saying stress level later on in the video. So stay tuned and also it depends on the tank size, how much medication are you using and how much water changes you are doing. So without any delay guys, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to show you the white spot. Now it's not heavily infested. Don't look on the glass. Try to look on the fish, the fins of the fish. You will see white spots. You can see there's a white spot on the fin of this fish on its tail. Yeah, so it's just the beginning of the infestation. Now, the life cycle of the white spot disease can last for about three to four days. And if you raise the uh, temperature higher, if your temperature is at uh, 20, 28 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, then it's, the life cycle is going to be even faster. So we need that to happen because when you have these white spots on the fish, the medication will have no effect at all. So we have to wait when these protozoas, it's a protozoa kind of disease caused by protozoas. So these go into the body of the fish and then bite on the skin, feed on the skin, feed on the juices, the nutritional juices of the fish and slowly 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 your fish is gonna lose all the nutrition in its body and even lose blood and it's gonna become thin 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 clamp its fins and probably die so the itch parasite keeps on repeating this cycle so as they get out of that sort like of a grain that white spot they fall to the bottom of the tank and then reproduce and again look for the host so we cannot allow that to happen we have to kill it when the itch falls on the bottom of the tank you cannot see it but it does and that's the only time when you can kill it when they are termites they are known as termites and that is the premature stage of them so what you have to do for the treatment it's very simple very basic uh, follow the steps very carefully and go with it you will have no problem whatsoever and your fish will be alive so the first thing you got to do is increase your temperature to 28 degrees celsius okay and the other thing you got to do is add a medicine called malachite or malachite green f okay it should be the f version now i will show you the bottle right over here you can see it's malachite green f Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. If you are in India, this will cost you about 70 to 60 rupees. Differing, the price may differ in different states. Now, I have got this for around 60 rupees. So this is no promotional uh, advertisement of this medicine, but I preferly uh, use this medicine and I love this medicine because it works really, really well. You don't have to add any other thing. You can add rock salt, two pinches of rock salt if you want. Now this medicine has to be used for only white spot disease and it's very effective, very, very effective. But it is a very strong medicine, it's very hard. Now I am not gonna tell you the dosage according, the dosage can vary according to tanks. So what I basically do is I just, uh, there's a cover on this. I will be showing you the cover as well. Okay. So this is how big the cover is. You can see my finger and you can see the cover. So I basically have filled this up with the liquid. Now for a two feet tank by one feet breadth and the height is, this is not a one feet breadth, this is a 1.5 feet breadth tank and the height is around 15 inches. So I'm gonna use three caps of this. Just because I'm making a video, I am not going to put three caps I will put that later on but I'm adding one cap front of you 
and make sure you don't overdose the tank if you put little it's no problem it will still work but do not put too much if you put too much especially for cichlids whether it's flower horn or african cichlids or anything now they are a bit sensitive towards this medicine so here we go i've added it in the tank okay So, and one more thing, keep in mind, guys. Remove your filter. As you can see, I have added an air stone, and that's why the water is so dirty because everything is flying all over, floating all over in the water. So, remove your filter because this medicine can damage your biological system, the bacteria, the beneficial bacteria which is in the tank present. So, remove that. Keep it aside. Keep it in another tank if you have. And keep it wet and moist and add an air stone for at least four to five days now usually I treat my tank with this medicine sorry guys I treat my tank with this medicine and I do water changes right after I add the medicine after 24 hours so okay you have to let the medicine remain for 24 hours at least in the water and then you can just change it uh, I you can change it at this time tomorrow so I will change the water this time tomorrow and whenever you guys add the medicine just count 24 hours from then and change and do a water change. You don't have to change the whole water but you have to do at least a 70% 70% water change at least this much okay. So then after a water change what you have to do is add a bit more medicine the same dosage you have given for the first time add the medicine again set the heater on the same temperature okay also don't forget to turn down the uh, put the heater off before changing the water and put the heater on back after changing the water okay note this guys and you have to add the same amount of liquid that you have dosed the first time and again you have to change the water after 24 hours and probably even if it's a heavy infestation the infestation is going to become less and if it's becoming less continue the treatment until you see no white spots at all okay and if you have a low infestation rate or not a very heavy infestation just like as you're seeing in the tank front of you then i would suggest you suggest you that you just go with stick with four days treatment and your white spot will be removed completely from the tank and fish entirely i don't think this is a disease to worry it is a disease to worry about when you don't know how to treat it treat your fishes treat your tank and you go put the wrong medicines so there's nothing much to this it's really simple the video became a bit long longer than is expected but i had to give you the detail guys and this is the basic simple details that i use to treat my tank so i'm going to repeat it once more first thing you got to do is increase the temperature of your tank the temperature water temperature second thing you got to do is add the medicine three to four caps of those medicines okay if your tank is bigger than uh, two feet or three feet you can use more even if you put half of the bottle in that does not matter but yeah after, then do a water change after 24 hours use an air stone don't use a biological filter or don't use your uh, uh, filters whatever filters you're using top filter anything just remove it and do a water change after 24 hours after 24 hours of doing a water change 70% uh, water change make sure of that and add the medicine again the same dosage which you did the very first time and again do a water change after 24 hours i don't think you will see any white spots after that and if you do by chance just continue the treatment for two more days or four more days so that's it basically guys thanks for don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let your friends know about the channel. I keep giving informative videos about flower horns and about other fishes. So if you want to stick to the details, stick to the channel guys. This is Ryan from Aquamaniac signing out. Until then, peace.